What up, it's Jimmy. This is a clip from our big NCAA basketball show. To check out the entire show, hit the link at the bottom of the screen. It's available exclusively on odds.com. We move to 1 p.m. Eastern, the SEC tournament semifinal. Tennessee Volunteers, 18-7. and 10-7 and seven in the SEC versus Alabama Crimson Tide. Max's boys, 22-6, and 16-2 and two in conference. Wow. We're in Bridgestone Arena in... Nashville, Tennessee. We have Alabama opening up as two and a half point favorites. That quickly moved to three. Then it moved to three and a half. This total sitting at 137 and a half as an opener. We actually see some 138s, 138 and a halfs now on the board. Tennessee hasn't won this event since 1979, the year of my birth. But the Vols are now a win away. We're reaching the championship game for a third straight tournament. Santiago Vescovi scored 14 points to lead five volunteers in double figures. Tennessee beat Florida 78-66 to advance to the SEC semis. It was their second straight win over Florida in the span of six days. Eves Ponds nearly had a triple-double, 11 points, eight boards, nine block shots that tied the SEC tournament single-game record set by Kentucky's Andre Riddick, if you're wondering, 1993 title game. But... The game was overshadowed a bit by John Fulkerson taking two elbows, one to the face, one to the head, or just both to the chops maybe from Omar Payne. Uh, he's doubtful to play. Uh, looks like there's a concussion. Uh, Tennessee lost their lone game versus Alabama, 71-62 at home back on January 2nd. And what a difference, Max, does what two months make. Tennessee were 10-point favorites in that game. Alabama coming off their most impressive dominant performance of the season. Max was all over them, defeating Mississippi State 85-48 for their fourth straight win. They were up 47-19 and a half. Devon Quinterly, 14 points off the bench. Jaden Shackelford adds 13. The second-best perimeter shooting team in the nation hit 13 threes. SEC Player of the Year, Herbert Jones, 8 points, 7 boards, 7 assists, 3 steals, 2 blocks in just 17 minutes. Juwan Gary made all four shots for 11 points. Crimson Tide's bench. Outscored the Bulldogs bench 47-5. Alabama shot 49%, had 20 assists, just nine turnovers. But, there is a but, they may lose guard Josh Primo. He left with 12 and a half minutes, remaining with a knee injury, uh, didn't return, taken to Vanderbilt University Medical Center for further observation. Uh, that could hurt them. Max, here we go. SEC tournament semifinal, Tennessee, Alabama. Jim. Watching Alabama was just thrilling in the kind of way that only our friend, the master Jedi of Unders, the man who makes Unders great again, Noli knows, could appreciate. This is an Alabama team that I have said on this show, I think, three or four times now. They want to be the best defensive team in the country. And God damn. Did they put on a defensive performance today? They held Mississippi State 1 for 19 from the three-point line. That is very, very, very nice. And when you look at it, you know, I don't see what Tennessee is going to be able to change out of their structure right now to do anything to combat what Alabama is going to do. Alabama is going to suffocate you. They're going to frustrate you. They're going to throw you out of rhythm. And then on the other end, if you give them the opportunity, they're going to freaking take it right down the middle on you, coast to coast. They're not looking to freaking get into the half court, throw it side to side, inside and out, and look for the best shot. I think that when you look at this Alabama team, you know, this is a group that has a lot of different lineups that they can throw at you. And with them playing their bench so much and their starters seeing, I think it was like under 25 minutes, I really like Alabama in this spot. I think that this is a spot where I'm taking Alabama first half. I'm looking for Alabama full game. I think that this is an Alabama team that's done a good job of getting out to big leads and being able to maintain them throughout the second half where Tennessee has really had to come and play from behind. I think that when you look at the defense, this is where Alabama is going to have to shine. We know about Tennessee having very – I would call it sketchy, consistent offense. 
with the young with the young five stars and Springer and Johnson in the backcourt, you need expert outlier performances from them, and you just can't count on that on a game to game basis. While Yi Pons is definitely a quality player and all around type guy. I don't really see him being able to really command the respect of the opponent's defense, attract those double teams, and stop and be able to put up 25 points. I think that Alabama is going to be able to really suffocate Tennessee, chase them off the three-point line. The one area that Alabama has trouble is just on the glass and keeping teams off the free throw line. Turnovers... I think Tennessee is going to see the same kind of pressure they saw in the first game. I think that this is a correct line. I would have probably made it around six and a half myself. I think that with the ability of Jaden Shackelford, with a three-point shooting of, of John Petty, Jordan Bruder down low, I just don't see what's going to change. And then you take out John Fulkerson. It's an Alabama spot or pass for me, Jim. So give me Alabama the best number you can get, and then I will also ask you to give me the best number of the morning on the first half. Max, do you want minus 3.5 and, and minus 110 or minus 3 and minus 120? 3.5 minus 110. Max, if Alabama rolls with convincing victories in the semis and finals of the SEC, are they now a number one seed? No. All right, minus three and a half at minus one ten, and you don't want to be in Alabama's conference if you are a number one seed. Minus three and a half at minus one ten. That's available at Fan Duel, and I will shop for first halves in the morning.